Hey guys, Coach Rich here. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of an introduction into how to bench press with dumbbells. Traditionally, people bench press with a barbell, but dumbbells have become a really popular option. There are a few benefits to bench pressing with dumbbells. Uh, those include correcting bilateral strength or size deficits. Also joint health, so for the shoulder, elbow and wrist, it makes it pretty easy to get the alignment correct if you have any sort of impingements there. Um, and one of the other reasons is just to get some variety into your programming. So the thing with dumbbell benching as opposed to pressing with a barbell is that most people don't know that they oftentimes cheat it. So when I say cheat it, they'll start out here with a dumbbell stacked over their elbow, which creates a lot of torque here and a lot of tension on the chest. Then they'll press and diverge all the way in, which oftentimes will stack the weight over the joints and not have a lot of tension going through the pec at all. So the demonstration that I'm gonna give you today is how to negate that. So we're gonna be holding the dumbbell out here right over our wrist, uh, right over our elbow, sorry, and pressing it up more like this and squeezing the pec tendon in towards the pec origins. A couple of other things we're gonna be considering too. We're gonna to be laying on a flat bench today. This can obviously, obviously be performed as an incline or a decline movement too, but we wanna select the appropriate degree of thoracic extension for our goal. So for me, I like to extend my thoracic spine quite a bit and hit a little bit more of the costal, like lower division of the pecs. If I don't extend my thoracic spine, I'll be hitting more of the sternal or middle pec fibers. The important thing to note there is the arm path. So your pec tendon attaches here on your humerus and we're gonna try and bring that pec tendon as close as we can to the pec origins that we're trying to target. So the other thing we're going to be talking about is our hand placement and where we're actually holding the dumbbell while we're performing the dumbbell bench press. So if I was to go to this rack and pick up a 26 kilo dumbbell and hold it here directly over my elbow, I'd be creating quite a large moment arm and quite a bit of tension going through that pec. So if I was to then progress the load and go grab a 36 kilo dumbbell, so 10 kilos heavier, and take that dumbbell from here and move it into here because I can't control it out here, I actually could end up doing less work because I've shortened the moment arm so much. So it's important to keep your hand position the same as you progress in load. That way you're actually going to be making progress as opposed to just bringing the weight in and making the exercise easier. Okay guys, so that is a little bit of a demonstration on how to bench press with dumbbells. So a few things to take note of. The big thing is the setup. So selecting the right degree of thoracic extension. So how far are you extending your T-spine in order to hit the correct division of the pecs that you're going for. So in the flat position, it can either be the sternal or middle fibers of the chest or the costal or lower division of the pecs. Now, when we're trying to target a specific portion of the pecs, as I said earlier, it is important to line up that pec tendon, so this part of your humerus, with the division of the pecs that you're trying to hit and squeezing inward. Now, the other key thing that we spoke about is keeping the dumbbell out here and creating a moment arm and tension on that pec. If you bring the dumbbell in, you're gonna be short changing yourself a little bit. So we wanna really keep it out here over the elbow, especially as we progress in load. And the other thing is don't diverge too much on the press. So we don't wanna see the dumbbell coming from out here all the way in here and stacking the load through the joints. So this is the most common mistake that I see with dumbbell bench pressing. So if that is something that you have been doing and you thought it was the correct way, try the way that I've just demonstrated, see how you go. You should be able to feel a really big difference and some new and improved chest gains.